Welcome to Rainier Avenue Radio, our live broadcast from the We Want to Live rally in March. Good evening, everyone. My name is Shama Sawant. I am the socialist at Seattle City Hall. As an immigrant woman of color, as a city council member and elected representative of Seattle's working people, as a socialist, as a rank and file member of the teachers union, it is my duty and honor to be able to stand in solidarity with this nationwide, no, not nationwide, global rebellion against racism and against police brutality and violence and a society that continues to inflict systematic oppression on the majority. In Seattle, we have had 30 members of our community murdered at the hands of Seattle police since 2011. Not one single police officer has been brought to justice. Yes. And that's the problem, because it is not just the police. The police are given cover by the political establishment and by the big business machinery. Because a system that relies on oppression has to rely on the police state and violence, because as Malcolm X said, you can't have capitalism without racism. And so, and so, it is zero surprise that a movement that is out protesting against police brutality and violence has been met with police brutality and violence. And this lies at the doorstep of Mayor Jenny Durkin and the city's Democratic Party establishment. It is Jenny Durkin's police force. It is Durkin's tear gas. It is Durkin's pepper spray. It is Durkin's mace canisters. It is Durkin's rubber bullets. And it's Durkin's arrest. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Durkin and this political establishment, at the same time that the George Floyd protests were breaking out, attempted to lift Seattle police from federal oversight. And it was the movement led by the black community that stopped them from happening. It was Durkin and the Democratic Party establishment that about two years ago approved a racist police contract that rolled back the hard fought accountability measures. How is it, my friends, how is it that on a majority people of color city council, I was the only no vote on that contract? That is why we have to understand that what matters in the leaders, as other speakers were saying, is not so much their skin color, but which side they stand on. And our movement, our movement should refuse to accept betrayers regardless of the color of their skin. And that is why I have joined the community in demanding that Durkin must go. And if Durkin does not resign, I, as city council member, on behalf of our movement, will bring articles of impeachment.
my socialist city council office stands in solidarity with the movement in demanding defund police. Cut, cut Seattle police budget in half and use those funds instead for grassroots community organizing for restorative justice. As my brother Viking said though, it is about paying the fee. It is no longer, we, we refuse to accept and our movement should refuse to accept crocodile tears. Rhetoric, words, photo ops, we're done with crocodile tears, rhetoric, and photo ops. We demand action. And so, my message to the rest of the city council is, will you stand with me and the movement in demanding that the police budget be cut in half and restorative justice be funded? Will you join, will you join me and the movement in demanding that Darkan must go and if she doesn't, we bring articles of impeachment? Will you stand with me in demanding, in terms of paying the fee, these big corporations and primarily white rich people and the billionaire class that has enriched itself by exploiting us. At the minimum, at the minimum, big business like Amazon should be taxed. That's why, as you all know, we are fighting to win tax Amazon and big business so that we can fund social housing, that is housing owned by the community so that we can begin. We have a long way to go. We cannot pretend this is easy. These are systemic problems. But so that we can at least begin to address the racist segregation in our city so that black and brown working class communities can live affordably in our city. We demand immediate release of all arrestees in the protest. We need an elected community oversight board with full powers over the police, meaning hiring, firing, punishment, subpoena power, policies and procedures. And last but not least, I'll end on this. My sisters, brothers and siblings, capitalism itself has racism and oppression on its DNA. As, as hard, as hard as it will be to win these reforms, and I promise you it will be hard because politicians will say one thing and do another unless we have a fighting movement. But as hard as the reforms will be to win, we cannot stop there. We need to fight to end capitalism itself and fight for a society free of oppression. Join me. Make sure you get this leaflet. Join me at a people's public meeting at Cal Anderson Park on Tuesday at 6 p.m. so we can discuss our strategy to win defund police. Solidarity. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. Solidarity.